Welcome in, everyone. After Drew, beef. Drew, Drew. I don't know which way to go, Drew. Ever since, ever since Jill told us how to flip the frame on the front-facing camera, I never know which way to go. Yeah, I told you I'm a strong uh, proponent, and uh, I don't really like it. Yeah, well, it's, it's here to stay, buddy. Yeah, because people can actually read the shirt. That's now. fine. That's Although fine. it's it's a little worn, uh, but you know, today uh, we're we're right now enjoying the two-year anniversary mm -hmm. of the. Uh, the World Series. I actually just watched. Uh, I just watched uh, uh, the video of David Wright in Game Three of the 2015 World Series hitting a two-run home run, and somebody quoted it and said, "If you had told me this was 15 years ago, I would believe you." <laughs> so, Probably. I mean, honestly, it feels that long. It feels yeah. that long. I yeah. Well, I, I, if this series had gone the same way your series went, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't really care to finally remember it either. No. You know. I really, I mean, like, I watched him hit it, and that was about it. I was like, nice. Nice, I remember that. <laughs> good, good hit. What happened in game five? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> don't want to talk about it. It's not like uh, I was there or anything. It's look, not like it was almost the greatest out of my life. Almost. You were there. Until it wasn't. You were there. You and... Until it was uh, a disaster. The men of Hick were there. Yes. You and uh, DPH and yes. Little Brooksy. Little Brooksy. Little, Brooksy. Little Brooksy's virgin ears got trashed Brooksy was night. what? Age-wise. Uh, well, right now he's 13. So is he 10? He's probably, 10 at the, he's probably at the 10. Mets game? He's probably 10. So he's 10 at Game 5 of the World Series in New York at City Field. Yeah. Uh, with that crowd, yeah. Little, oh, yeah. Little Brooksy's virgin ears. Which, by the way, at one point almost... Got brutalized. Uh, me and, and... Really more just me. I was going to include my father in it, but it's more just me. Almost came to blows with some Royal fans. Um, they weren't doing anything. You just were angry? It's just, uh, there comes a breaking point for yeah. every man and their team when they know it's over, and you just can't take it anymore, and they're sitting right behind me, and they're just, they're saying all these little comments I don't want to hear. Yeah. Finally, the Mets scored another run, and I just, I turned back and started screaming at them. Mm, it's probably not okay. But then... But, yeah, I'm, hearing this story, <laughs> like, 100% it sounds like you're wrong. Oh, I was wrong. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt I was wrong. We, the best part, we had this... We had this mountain dude. I mean, he's like 6'8". He's drunk as hell. And he's literally pound... I watch, we watched him pound like two burgers and a chili dog. And he's just sitting there and he just and keeps keep pounding Royal beers. fan? Uh, no. Met fan? Met fan. And he's just sitting there. I, I, honestly, he's a Met fan, but I don't think he was like in any team apparel or anything. Right. He's just sitting next to my dad. My dad all of a sudden, every time we're doing anything, he's just high-fiving him, and the guy is just absolutely hammered. It was it was hilarious. But the worst part, really, was when we left the stadium and the Mets had now lost, and like I said, Brooksy's little virgin ears got introduced to some new fun some words. Some new words. Yeah. Well, look, Brooksy plays football, <laughs> Brooksy plays baseball. Brooksy's right. going to learn those words. He's already learned them. I can it's tell part you. of the game. He plays Fortnite. He plays Fortnite, Fortnite he's heard them all. And <laughs> odds, are, odds are, when Mom and Dad are downstairs and Brooksy's on the Fortnite headset upstairs alone, he's used a few. I'm not trying to hang Brooksy. I'm not saying I know that for sure, but I've been that age, <laughs> and I know when nobody else is around, you use those words. <laughs> I won't go any farther. And you feel good doing it. I'm not hanging Brooksy, but I said, can, yeah. all I'm going to say is can confirm. Can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> can confirm. Drew Dogger can confirm. Uh, speaking of nothing in particular, yesterday... It, I felt for a member of the media community, I felt like I was simpatico. I was, I had a brotherhood mm. with a uh, reporter from the Detroit Free Press. Uh -huh. As much like uh, some grief I've received by an unnamed member of the uh, comment section here on After Drill, uh, <laughs> a media member was attacked, viciously attacked, for his wardrobe and demeanor oh, at a no. press conference. Now, now this is uh, the person who came after me on our comments, uh, I will say is a, a, a lovely person and very put together. And seems to carry themselves very professionally. So I'm not criticizing the person that, that uh, levied uh, critique and complaints against me. Uh, but yesterday in Detroit, a uh, member of the press, the Detroit Free Press, mm -hmm. had a question to Lions head coach Matt Patricia sure. about the Golden Tate trade. Uh, at the NFL trade deadline, the Lions traded whiteout Golden Tate to Philly for a third-round pick. Uh, some raised eyebrows at that because the Lions, although 3-4, and four, are still right in the thick of it in the NFC North, and granted, Golden Tate isn't, you know, Julio Jones, but he was a key component of their offense, mm -hmm. you know, so people ask, you know, is the team, the reporter asked Matt Patricia if the team is better today than it was a day ago when they had Golden Tate, and before he even answered the question, Matt Patricia goes in on this guy saying, oh, you know, the least you can do is, uh, you know, sit up straight and, and act like a professional and this, you know, respect the process, and, uh, you know, if you ask me a question professionally, then I'll answer it professionally. And my issue, again, is with 
who it's coming from. I was just about to say. Have you seen yourself? Matt Patricia? <coughs> Is there a mirror at the Patricia house? Yeah, that's insane. Have you ever walked by a window, that was, Matt? That was literally the only thing I was thinking the entire Matt, time. Was like, really, Matt Patricia said Matt this? Patricia is what Pigpen from Peanuts would look like if he grew up. Yeah. Matt Patricia is a pig. Matt Patricia, I watched you wear a backwards fitted cap for you wore years. A backwards on a cap on national stages, and then became a head coach and did it and got hammered. You and wore changed a it. Backwards cap, tees, and gym pants with a beard. You've been growing for five years. You look like every middle aged guy who's given up. Yeah. But you're an NFL head coach. Yeah. And you can't come out at the press conference and criticize the dude for slouching in his seat. And being unprofessional, and that's your look, Matt Patricia. Yeah. You wore a T-shirt with Roger Goodell's face on it, dressed as a clown. Yeah. On an official team trip. Yeah. You're not the guy. Yeah. That's very annoying. Yeah. I was very annoyed by Matt Patricia. That's uh, incredibly fair. You're a pig man, Matt Patricia. I'll bet if we four inch through your damn beard, we were <laughs> fine. Cheetos and peanuts. You might. And it might stink of bong water. Who yeah, knows? You might. You look like a pig, Matt Patricia. Take it. It takes one to know one, Matt. That's right. You're one of us. Stop. <laughs> SOB, Matt. On that note. You SOB. I, I guess uh, there was some, uh, uh, I got a call that there was some spank talk on the radio today. Oh, yeah. So uh, Dan Higgin asked me if I would ask you. There sure. Was a study. Yeah, there's lots of studies about the effects of spanking mm -hmm. on children. Many believe that. Uh, you know, children who are spanked, it doesn't have any positive effect, that it's mostly negative, that, you know, it has a similar effect psychologically as, as any other type of physical abuse. And uh -huh. Dan said, please ask Drew about the effects of spanking because he received many. I mean, I tell you, I deserved about 98% of them probably. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, again. No, I'm fine. Would, would younger Drew Hicken... Have been so hot headed and ready to fight at the Mets game if he hadn't have been spanked oh. all those years. <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. But would Drew Drew be a little more level headed? We'll never know. If he hadn't maybe been, I don't know, had his ass beaten to the point that he was a psychopath at the Mets game. Who knows? I'm not a psychologist. I don't have the answer. Oh my God. What am I, Sigmund Freud? You wanna talk about your feelings, Drew? So, Lean back. So basically, what you're telling me is. So he never went overboard. So the bare minimum right. is that I became a psychopath. And now, had he had gone overboard, right? who knows? Well, I'd probably be doing the show with Brooke because you'd be in prison somewhere. Right. right? Either Lauren Brooks or Brooks Hicken, uh, one or the other. I'd be doing the show with them, and you'd be in jail somewhere. Oh, man. Thankfully, that's not the case. That's not the case. Instead, Drew is level-headed. He's even keeled and level-headed enough, and he's comfortable enough to wear this pink shirt to work today. That's right. And feel good about it. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's a handsome shirt, Drew. Uh -huh. Don't let me, don't let me rip you. Don't let me go, Matt Patricia, on you. I mean, feel free to be professional here. I you? mean, you know, you know. My apologies. <sighs> what have we done? What have we done? What have we done with this show? <laughs> what did we do today? What did we accomplish? Very little. There was something I wanted to talk about. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, sorry, not to interrupt you, Drew. <clears throat> no, but, you're uh, fine. So, you know, we do the Friday Five Pack every week, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I I always go on the MyBookie website to check. The lines to take a look at what's going on, especially uh, on Thursdays and Fridays when we're doing our, you know, uh, inside the business. I do commercial reads for my bookie. Thank you. Love mm. the cheese. Thank you. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> but so I like to look at the lines and, and see what's going on. So I go on the my bookie page today, and I was blown away, like joyfully, because this this would immediately make politics so much more fun for me. Mm. But all up and down the main page on my bookie, when you go to the sports book, betting. midterm odds. Right. Left and right. That's pretty funny. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I funny. Most of these candidates, because it was all over the place, I don't know anything about, but I feel like I just want to throw a bet on. I feel like that has to... I, I'm trying to figure out how that's not illegal, just because people will be like, hey, hey. you know what? You see these underdog odds? I'm going to bet on them, and then I'm going to go campaign. I'm going to go tank my campaign. For the underdog, and I'm going to try to win myself a lot of cash. Right. I'm not going to win this election, but I might make a couple hundred grand. <laughs> I mean... Uh, uh, yeah, that might be... I don't know. Either way... It's fine. Either way, it, it struck me as America, funny. baby. I mean, it was a lot of midterm odds. There was like a whole page of it. That's crazy. funny. Like uh, all kind of like like prop like bets different. And stuff like too. yeah, well, it was all just like you know favorites and underdogs, but it was all over like all over the great land. You know, if so and so everywhere. wins, will he start his acceptance speech with "God bless America"? Yeah, I didn't get quite. I didn't delve <laughs> deep into the props. Right. What, what will be the first line of this acceptance speech? <laughs> How long will his speech last? Right. Over under, X amount of minutes. Right. 
Yeah, I'm not I love the that. prop bets. I love man. prop bets. It's Super Bowl time, <laughs> I love a prop bet. The Super Bowl prop the, bets are my favorite. Over under like 90 second anthem or however long people Right, say I think that. it's always around like 210 for yeah. the anthem. And Something you're right, like there's that. always like the color of the Gatorade, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, uh, when they dump it on the yeah, coach, what's what the color, color of the Gatorade? Be, you know, yep. it's good stuff like that. Yep. I love the prop bets at the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sam says, Spanky doesn't change the behavior. What it does, however, is teach right and wrong. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's one. I mean, I felt like for the most part, it just kept me being. The that's one. Turd. That's one opinion. I'm, I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong. I'm saying there's there's studies out there that that's what Dan was referencing. And please, if you're upset with by what I'm saying, I mean, I gotta imagine if I was in Dan's shoes and I also raised Drew Hicken, I probably would beat his ass too. Because <laughs> it seems like he was a real pain. I just like, he seems like he was a tremendous nuisance <laughs> growing up. And if you feel differently, please don't attack us because I'm not really. Uh, I'm not. We're not getting into this. Not, we're not. I, we're I, not taking sides. I really don't care. Enough. All we're doing is, is going into how <laughs> Drew clearly has has picked up some psychopathic tendencies over the years, and we're not saying whether it was a result of the savage beatings he got from Dan Hicken or not. Tell you, uh, I'm, not gonna argue, I'm not going to argue about not it. Not going to argue. I don't care. I mean, you know, all I'm saying is, you know, at one point Drew did, uh, you know, uh, threaten his dad to a fight, and his dad got out of the car <laughs> and wanted to fight him. I don't know what effect that had to do with the spankings. I'm not saying it did or didn't. Uh, not, no, we're not playing not, the blame game. Could or could no fingers be being pointed here. Just saying. Could you connect be a, the dots if you could want. Could there be a cause-effect relationship? Who knows? Maybe. We're not those people. You be the judge. Yeah, we're not the not scientists us. here. We're going to sit this one out. Uh, yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> We're going to bid you farewell. We'll be back with a Friday edition after drill. As soon as I hit finish here, I'm going to spank Drew. Uh, see you guys. Love you. <laughs>